came the discovery of the superstring theory, which stated that an elementary particle that is 10 to the negative 35 meters in diameter was the basic element of all matter. This prompted the idea that an infinite number of worlds exist parallel to our own, all separated by extra dimensions at the subatomic scale. will be a year long remembered in the scientific world as Professor William Kaufman's published work on ubiquitous strings is released. Simply put, Kaufman predicts that travel to a parallel world may be possible using a method he's called string tunneling. But many in the scientific field, while agreeing with his findings, say that the power output that is needed is far beyond the capabilities of science. Anthony Zhu's trial ended today with a narrow, not guilty verdict. The families of the 11 MIT lab workers who were killed in the July 1999 explosion contend that Zhu was at fault and that his attempt to create the first matter-antimatter reaction was the cause. Commander Slade? Not bad. I guess my weight, too. I'm Major Vernon, sir. We've got a diamond priority situation at one of our outposts, and I'm to bring you to the site. I got time to finish my drink? Guess not. Almost to the site, and I'm supposed to debrief you before we land. Get on with it, then. In your mission briefing, you'll see that yesterday at 1630 GST, a top secret military experiment was launched. You got any coffee? No, sir. Now, if you'll just follow along. Damn. Okay, I'm all ears, Major. Go on. Well, as you may know, scientists have talked about traveling to parallel worlds for the last couple of years, and yesterday, we did it. Did what? We sent a probe through the boundary separating us from the other dimensions. Really? Where'd you wind up, Belgium? For 71 minutes, we were receiving data back from the probe before an entity from that world damaged it, sending an energy backlash through to our world that's caused an atomic chain reaction we were unable to contain. Looks like your precious lab blew up. Not exactly. Pilot, uh, give me a 30-degree roll to port. It caved in. Let me get this straight. The probe you shot in the Twilight Zone screwed up and is sucking us in? Yes. And the vortex is growing exponentially, Commander. We estimate 25 days before the Earth is no more than a cosmic memory. So why am I here? You're here to escort a group of three scientists into the same parallel world to repair and retrieve that probe. I'm trained in combat and survival. I don't run an escort service. Urgent. Soft gear maintenance off needed at Hall G13. Red sector com briefing is a go at 1300 hours. Look, all I'm saying, Anthony, is we weren't ready. I was as eager as you to test our theories, but that didn't give us license to... Us? I'm not taking the fall for your flawed theories, Kaufman. My energy source didn't lose that probe, and when we find it, I'll... Attention. Report all Gentlemen, this is Commander Cutter Slade. He's here to make sure you have no problems on your little trip. No more than you've got, anyway. This is Professor William Kaufman, head of the Cristobal Project. Yeah, it's a pleasure, Commander. I'm sorry you asked. You and me both, Professor. And Professor Anthony Xu, Professor Kaufman's... Guiding light. Without me, he'd still be at the blueprint stage. Where I fear we should have stayed. 
We can save the speculation until after we've plugged that hole, gentlemen. Professor Kaufman, you're due at the pad first. Oh, I'll be along momentarily, Major. Urgent. Task five commanders. P1 so, what's the plan, Professor? Quite simple, really. When we get to the other world, we locate the damaged probe and repair the systems using these backup cards. Of course, the damage could be anything from the power output to the... It's not the power output. It's the string tunneling device. We'll find that out soon enough, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the pad. Why did they choose you, Commander? Guess I drew the short straw. Nice to know we have something in common. See you on the other side, gentlemen. One step away from proving my energy source can work, and now this. I can't believe my luck. Don't worry, Professor. Stick close to me, and we'll get through this. Listen, G.I. Joe. I'm only gonna tell you this once. I don't take orders from anyone. Is that so? A strong feeling you're going to be trouble. Mm -hmm. The feeling's mutual, Professor. Suits a bit on the tight side. Sorry. We've already sent a shipment of new technology weaponry to the other world. The instructions were in your brief. Thanks. By the way, you said three scientists. So far, I've only seen double. Wolf? Oh, God. What's she doing here? Uh, you two know each other? Not really. I know her lawyers pretty well, though. Look, about that, I'm... Is there a problem? I don't really know. Is there a wolf? I wouldn't want the senator upset again. My mother has nothing to do with this. I'm here on my own credentials. Ms. Wolf is our exobiologist, Commander. If your mission runs longer than expected, She'll be helping you figure out which bugs to eat and what plants to Commander avoid. Slave, T -minus 10 minutes to launch. She'll also be attempting Please communication with the sentient beings we saw in the probe. Communication? Feed. Her? How ironic. You don't understand, Commander. What happened wasn't... Uh, this uh, happy reunion will have to wait, you two. Commander, we need you on the pad now. Ms. Wolf? What was all that about? Guess you guys didn't have time for background checks. Level with me, Vernon. Is this thing really gonna get us there alive? Would you rather stay here? You've got a point there. Just try not to break anything else before I get back, will you? We'll try, Commander. Good luck. Uh, you guys want to keep it down. <clears throat> My head is splitting. Urakai, are you unhurt? I think so, dog. Except my hearing's a bit out of whack. I do not understand, Ulukai. Ulukai? What's that? Some egghead word for... <laughs> Holy shit! What is egghead? Who are you? Where are the others? I am Zokrim. Leader of the Dolotai Guardians. What others do you talk of? Others... Um, like me. We found you alone, Ulokai. No others were there. Brilliant. Now what? Now? Now we will help you retrieve your five mons and defeat Feyran and his soldier leader, Kroax. Then all of Adelpha will be free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Chief. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've already got a world to save. <laughs> yes, Ulukai, and that is Adelpha. 
Why do you keep calling me Ulukai? The name is Cutter Slade. Hundreds of moons ago, the Prophet Kazar spoke of a higher being, the Ulukai, who would arrive at this time to save Adelpha from destruction at the hands of Feyran. To do this, you will need the five Mons, sacred objects that have been hidden around the regions of Adelpha, awaiting your arrival. Sounds like you have some real problems. Zotgrim, was it? But right now, I gotta find the three other people on my team and a busted probe. That's my first priority. If I have time afterwards, I'll see what I can do about helping you, okay? If you search for friends and busted probe, have you a way of finding them? Now that you mention it, no, I don't. Then I propose a deal with you, Ulokai. I will tell the other Dolotai Guardians to go out into their regions and search for what you seek. When they discover anything, they will get word to me, then I to you. How many men do you have? Once, we numbered in the thousands. Now we are but a hundred, and getting smaller with each moon. So if I help you get these Mons, you'll use your hundred eyes and ears to look around this world for me? Yes. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice here. How will you know where I am? We will know, Ulukai. Many Talon will not believe in you until they hear stories of your good deeds. All will watch your every move. Fair enough. Now the probe is a big shiny metal object, and I need to find it first. Is this what you seek? A backpack? Where'd you get that? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai. As were many sacred objects of the Yods. No, the probe is much bigger than that. You said the rest of the equipment is there? No, Ulukai. When sacred objects were discovered, many Talon take them for themselves. To have a little part of the Yods, and to feel hope that some moon they would help. Most Talon will not want to give up their sacred objects. This mission will be a snap, Commander. It's just a simple repair operation. What could go wrong? Well, let's count. I lost my crew, can't find the probe, my equipment is being used by the natives as rosary beads, and I have one backpack with my HK P-12 and 30 rounds of ammo. I believe that places this mission somewhere just south of Fubar. I did not understand all what you said, Ulokai. But if you are looking for more items, I would like to give you this. What is it? This Gamsav is believed to save at Halan's essence when it is held and squeezed in one's hand. When you do this, a strange glow builds inside the Gamsav, and after a few moments, it lets out a bright light. This is believed to imprint your essence on the Gamsav, but you cannot move while the light is growing. Ah, skip it, Chief. This is too much. Look, I think I need to clear my head. Got a place I can stretch my legs a bit? Of course, Ulukai. Our camp is open to you. You should find my son, Yarn. He can help you. Once he has done so, return to me, and I will open the Dalka, so you may leave. Alright, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to another Let's Play series. In the next game, I've chosen to Let's Play is none other than Outcast. Now, this, why I chose this game? Well, I came recommended by many of the people I know, and they asked me sometimes since I played uh, this kind of action adventure game, a unique twist. And the story seems very intriguing. We have seen the introduction movie and a short dialogue between the characters, main character and one of the, what I believe to be a guardian of this uh, particular Arctic region of the New World that the main character, Curtis Slade, has dropped in. You see uh, that um, this um, game is um, chock full of um, very interesting locales and uh, different cultures to immerse yourself in. Um, well, yeah, so we have um, 
basically not control. We are in control of the character color, color slate. Uh, what a name, color slate. Um, he's able to uh, maybe they just move freely. Uh, the controls are really simple, really, but um, not belies the fact that there are many other options to navigate the world. Yeah. Um, so. So this uh, the other bias of sorts that I believe to be coming from uh, his uh, visor. There is also some kind of CPU where they can uh, detect any number of different uh, energy signatures and different uh, interesting objects in the environment. Um, I like the sound that the color makes when he's walking around the snow. Well. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm just trying to learn um, how to navigate the world and then see um... okay and jump and um... I, think I can walk yep yeah, walk some metals that you can collect I don't know why it does really but maybe you can uh, craft stuff and uh, upgrade your yeah, you can also crawl for stealth purpose, maybe. So you have a lot of different things that you can do here, a lot of range of movement, and uh, yeah, sure. It's a really good sign of a um, nice action adventure. And let's see if I can go to inventory and see. Um, this is a backpack. Camp staff, a red crystal, metal, and world map. And I think I believe I'm in. Um, I don't know where I am really. Um, and I don't really know what that strange symbol is on the left, the bottom left, but uh, uh, let's go back to Notepad, which uh, I guess gives me some instructions as to where, what next I, um, what I should do next. So, mission objectives. So, Zokrin wants me to speak with his son, Zach, before he opens the Dakwa. Dakwa. Obviously, Dakwa means a uh, village or something that uh, we are in right now. I guess it's a kind of gated community. Um, so I'm used to this uh, modern kind of uh, action adventure where they tell you where to go uh, straight away, like arrows and stuff like that, guides. Um, metal, a lot of metals. Let's see if this headset transmitter works. Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people! Turn on your receivers! Damn it, people. Yeah, turn on your receivers. Where are you guys? So when he uh, entered this world, uh, he was uh, supposed to be a guide for three other people. Scientists, to be exact. Um, Bill Kaufman, Anthony Sue, and um, I think Wolf. I don't really know her first name, but... Yeah, it's a luck would have it. Well, not really luck, but yeah, of course, as this kind of story unfolds, um, the group was definitely separated. Uh, and thankfully, uh, Color was able to find himself within a you know, group of friendly people. You know, they're just going about their um, daily lives. And yeah, he's trying to probably find them and try to uh, get to the bottom of uh, the problem at hand. Oh, Alright, so I can control this um, angle and also zoom the camera this is um, yeah nice in a way that uh, you see more of the screen yeah um, so if you press tab you can see um, the whole mini map here so you can probably uh, navigate to your next Next objective here, which is finding Zan, the guy's uh, son that uh, we need to meet. Let's see if I can meet him here. It's like a. Are you the uh, Zan? Okay. Can I see you for a second? Hey there, how's it going? Um. Great, Urukai. Okay. You are better, I see. So I have to click like mouse button to um, advance dialogues. Worse, although I don't really see how. 
I can try and give you some info about the Shamaz or the region of Shamazar if you would like. Oh, nice dialogue, dialogue what can you options tell me here. About the, Shamaz? they used to have greater numbers of their kind, like us guardians. But since Feyran and Croax began to rule Adelpha, they have disappeared in great numbers. Feyran's been killing them? That is what most fear, Ulukai. Feyran has made it illegal for any Shamaz to teach about the other Yods or of the Prophet Kazar. Those that do disappear. We have made efforts as well to keep alive the teachings of Kazar and the Yods, but we too lose more guardians every moon. I fear that one moon soon there will be no more of us left. So why does Feyran allow oh, some of the Shamaz to live? He will always need Shamaz. They can use their essence to heal. Croax forces them to heal his soldiers, and Feyran makes them heal the workers, so they can work harder for him. There was a time that none of the Shamaz would help Feyran. But when he continued to revert them until there were only a few left, they decided that they needed to stay alive to attempt to continue their teachings and agreed to Feyran's terms. They're on his side now? No, Ulukai. Never question the loyalty of a Shamaz. They will all be delighted to see you and will help you the best they can. Kazar suggested this and the Shamaz have listened. The only reason you should ever fear a Shamaz is... Is when? Forgive me, Urukai, but they were told by Kazar that if your essence was discovered to be evil, they were not to help you. But I am certain that will not be the case. Okay, cool. So they actually automatically gives me uh What can you tell me of Shamazar? No, but the biggest actually option that I had chosen before. Large it's very temples convenient. Are placed all around that region. They are all used to go to pay tribute to the Yods of the Essences. These moons, very few are allowed to travel to them, and the offering plates beneath the idols atop the temple stand bare. Okay. Why can't you travel to them? Feyran has all but destroyed all forms of worship to the other Yods. Now his Yod, the Yod Fey, is the only Yod all can worship frequently. For the other three, so I have read, uh, do it in secret. I have read it. Only the Shamans oh, are me. allowed to travel much to these other temples, but even their time there is limited. I read a manual, and uh, well, not really like closely, but I think Yod actually is one of the, the religious aspects of this um, world culture. And there are four Yods, and uh, one of them is uh, Yod Fey, which represents fire. And uh, the world is supposed to uh, be um, at peace uh, in, and in balance uh, when all the Yods are uh, equally worshipped or equally respected. But now uh, there is a terrible imbalance because uh, this uh, Fade Ran, I guess it has to do with uh, the name Fey, um, is uh, basically uh, forcing uh, worship of only Fey. Uh, so. What else can you tell me of Shamazar? Recent rains there have made the ground very dangerous in some parts. Be careful around the dark land areas. Also, the waters of Shamazar hold danger. I even hear stories of a large, dangerous beast in the waters behind a temple, but I do not know which one. Okay. Alright, so Shamazar is, um... Okay, so, what is this? Lexicon. Oh man, so Lexicon is where all the, you know, if you hear some words that are native, spoken by the, the guardians, or any other uh, creature in this world, uh, it is automatically added to this lexicon, a dictionary of sorts that gives me a um, translation of uh, what they mean. So this game is uh, uh, crafted with a lot of thought and a lot of uh, consideration. Um, so we are, yeah, Shamazar seems to be a, a bit of a lush green island territory in the north, I think uh, we are in, I'm not so sure where we are, but uh, maybe Montazar, that's where the mountains are, lots of snow. Yeah, I really like uh, like how they were able to craft this uh, the culture in a very, very in-depth manner. Um, I need to find Jan though. Are you Jan? Pardon me, buddy. Buddy. Are you Jan? 
Yes, cool. Ulukai. Okay. I'm glad that you were feeling better. So we got the right guy. Thanks. Okay. Your father said you could help me get the kinks. They kind of all look alike, huh? I'm sorry. The what? Uh, forget it. I need to get some exercise. Can you help me out? I can do that, Ulukai. There are four tests we mm. do here to train other guardians. Tutorial level. I can guide you through them if you would like. I would. All right, no choice in the matter. Then you can choose from our tests of jumping, swimming, targeting, or sneaking. All right, I think I know how to jump, and I think I know how to. Yeah, I'm just uh, let's go start with target test. What about this targeting test? We have some pots set up to test the shooting skills of the new gardens. Even though my father unwisely follows the no-violence teachings of Kazar, we still need to learn how to aim our defensive weapons. I shall show this to you. The best defense is best offense? Alright. Cool. Look at him walk. Ah, uh, okay. I got info. Excuse me, pal. What's the deal here? Here you must break these pots. You may find items inside. Try and break them all. With what? Okay, so I just need to break them, huh? Alright. Okay, so let's sort of uh, zoom in and uh, yeah, disable this. Um... Oof, oof. Sorry, buddy. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, one to six. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to hit you there. Alright, now I have the. Uh... Alright, so this is a uh, targeting reticule. Um, laser. You shoot well. Thank you. you shoot well. So, um, I guess this weapon is. Um, it uses ammo. That's why um, I was able to see all the. Animals lying around. So how do I um, to just uh, press one to how they holster my weapon? Ah, I should read the menu more closely. Sorry about that. I don't want to shoot you. Goodness. Sorry about that. Um. Hmm. So grim. Okay, I need to holster my weapon, right? I read in the manual where uh, if you do not holster your weapon and then run around with like a weapon side by your side, then it's gonna scare the populace. So yeah. Um... All right. Well, I can wait then. Sorry about that. I should um, did a little better job of uh, reading out the manual. Okay, now he does. Second, um... Okay, he does holster his weapon automatically. Cool. Tell me about your test of swimming. We test the ability of all guardians to swim, swim. down into the waters around Whoa, hey Alpha. This is useful for us when Too we close. hide our items or want to avoid the soldiers of Croax. Follow me, and I will explain our test. Okay. Alright. I like how um, it doesn't transport you all the way uh, automatically. You just have to travel there by foot, although uh, this pathfinding leaves a bit to be desired, it seems. He's just waiting for me to uh, catch up with me. Catch up with him. All right. Okay. A walk or something. Oh, it's up here. This little path. Jump. All right. So, talk to him again. All right, swimming pool. You want me to swim in there? I'll freeze my headset off. Yeah. This water is very cold, but it holds items that you may find useful. Swim to the bottom to find the best ones, but be sure to protect your essence. Essence, huh? Okay. I don't know what essence means, but maybe essence means life. So, I'm swimming. So, if you uh, press left mouse button, you go down. If you press up, if you press right mouse button, you go up. It is very cool indeed. 
Oh, so you can get the ammo there. Alright. And I think there's oxygen meter that appears if you submerge in the water. Or is it uh, so called essence? Oh, he does hold uh, his breath underwater uh, very well. Point object. Yeah, his visor does everything in, uh, in terms of uh, detecting materials and uh, items that are of interest. They're getting er energy. What kind of. Uh... Alright, yeah, I got them all. Sorry there, uh, Guardian. Just uh, got all the little things that you hid under the water. Was cold. No kidding. Ah, uh, sneak test. What is this sneaking test? This is our most mm. difficult test. Since my father orders that we follow the no violence teachings of Kazar, we find that we are forced to try and sneak into places without the soldiers seeing us. Okay. Nothing wrong with a little sneak and peek. Saves on ammo. So he's telling me to, uh, that if you say Ulukai, me, I want to fight, but my father forbids it, and so now we train how to retrieve objects without being spotted. Follow me, and I will tell you the rules. Okay. So I guess uh, like from what I um, get from the dialogue here is that the ammo may be scarce in this world, so I maybe uh, need to rely on sneaking and try to uh, use the terrain to my advantage. Seems, uh, yeah. This terrain seems like it's from a flight simulator. Okay. Sneaking. Alright, Zen. What can you tell here? How can does you it tell work? me here? Ulukai, you will now begin the most difficult of our tests. What we will do is have you stand in the area of the square. Once I say one, two, three. You must begin to try and get the fruit I lay on the ground. Sounds easy enough. It will not be, Urukai. If you leave the square before I count three, I will start over. If I see you, I will tell you and you will have to come to oh, me and so restart the test. Basically, he has to sneak around him. Let's go then. Alright, let's see how hard this can be. Enter your square and we will begin. Wait for my count, please. Okay. Square. This must be, this must be the square, I guess. Um, okay, so it tells me uh, say spacebar for calling. So. One, two, three. All right. I guess I need to um, use these ledges, and uh, be mindful of the fact that. Uh, He's looking here. Uh, maybe I should uh, wait. Monitor. Um, oh, oh! Did you see me? All right. Whoa! Leg is up on the ledge. All right. I can I just sneak, 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 sneak. Oh, where is this guy? I use my map to uh, see where he might be. Yeah, it just disappeared. Oh, the fruit is mine. The sweet, sweet fruit. Strange fruit. So, this is over? Um, alright. Where is Jan? I to find him. <laughs> so, I need to use my map, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess just Jan just travel all the way back there. Oh yeah, here we go. Just jump into the water. Oops, forgot to get uh, the last materials. Last items. Money. Oh, man, I forgot the most important thing. Alright, Jan, where are ya? Oh, let me try. Jan? Is it you, Jan? No, it's not Jan. No, not this guy. Um. Where are you, Jan? Oh, okay, cool. Pardon me, buddy. Buddy, stop calling me Say, buddy. You, you know my name. Bit more about your father. 
He is a great leader. Um, and if things were different in Adelphi, that sounds different now. The leader of all the Dolatai Guardians. As it is this moon, we must hide or face the reverting flames of Aeron. Burning flames of Aeron. He gets people to join him by burning them. Yes, Ulukai. Huh, interesting. Strange recruitment plan. How's your father fighting back? By dousing them in water. We never fight, although most of us would like to. I am beginning to think that my father's essence is going weak. I want to no longer listen to his teachings of uh -oh. Kesar and of peace. I want more than anything to revert Feyron myself for what he has done. So revert means I guess kill them. Killing. Whoa, simmer down there, Jan. I'm sure your father knows what he's doing. Yeah. We shall see soon enough. That sounds different from the first time I met him. Um, alright, I guess I need to see Zokram again. I, I believe uh, Zokram is uh, this guy. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Alright. It's a uh, info bank, info dump here. Well, let's just, um... What is a Dao? Oh, it's only small. They are the travel rings that have been found throughout Adelpha for thousands and thousands of moons. No Talon knows who created them, only that they allow fast travel to regions where they lie. Okay. We turned ours off to make sure no soldiers followed us when we rescued you. Oh, so they rescued me uh, from a different place. Maybe they, this is the place I should go to to rescue the others. The travel rings, okay. All right, about Mon. What are these Mon you told me about again? It is said that you will come to Adelpha and reunite the five Mon. Delpha. Then the season of Feyran will come to an end and all of Adelpha will be at peace once again. And what are they? No Talon knows. They were found by Kesar. And then hidden from the soldiers of Feyran by all the Shamas after Kesar was reverted. Find the Shamas in any region you enter to begin finding them on, Ulokai. Okay. But Yod. What is a Yod? The Yods are the forces that watch us from above and give all Talon our essence. They are the ones who have brought you to us. We help. Okay, so. More or less um, like a spirit or a god. Shamazar. Can you tell me about Shamazar? It is the region that the Daoke in our camp leads to. This region is filled with temples and many Talon there are forced to grow food for Feyran's soldiers. Mm, so this region is called... Sh yeah. Sh Shamakar? Um, I need to check again. Filled with temples. Many talent here. Okay. Yeah, this region is called Daoka, um, apparently. Say, Zokram, what's with that Gamsav you gave me? That is your Gamsav. Gamsav. Oh. It is a very special piece of Adelpha. Great. What's it good for? If you take it in your hand and squeeze it. Light and sound I know what it means now. Inside the Gamsav grows. When it reaches full power, it will cause a bright flash. That flash is thought to save your essence in case you thought are Thought to save your essence, which means you're alive, in case you're reverted, which means you're killed. So, Gamsav is a save function in this game. And then I think right, read the manual, and Gamsav is a play on words on game save. Pretty clever there, Infogrames or Atari. Oh. That's different. Be warned that if you use this near soldiers, that they will hear it and come running. Also, any energy that comes near your Gamsav will disrupt it, and you will have to begin again trying mm. to use so it. to use in a safe place. I think the developer did a great job making this game function um, a bit... How many times can I use it? I do not think it has a limit. Yeah, the game developers did a great job, I think, in trying to make this a bit of a, you know, um, the different. You know, game save can be uh, abused a lot and, you know, kind of spammed. But, yeah, in this game, it's a bit different. Which is, um, yeah, interesting. And 
What can you tell it fits me nicely with the world, I guess, and in, 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 in Hevichen. I was very young when he became the leader of Feyran's soldiers. From what my father told me before being reverted, Croax always tried to be in control, to have others under his power. Okay. How did he and Feyran get together? When Feyran first arrived in Shamazar, he met with Khazar several times. They were always seen arguing. Croax saw his chance to join forces with Feyran. And together, they began to teach their message of power over the week. Hmm. Shamazar. What's Daoka again? What is a Daoka? They are oh, yeah, yeah. Daoka has triple rings and Shamazar is this region. Alright, oh, Guardians, okay. Tell me more about Last the Dolatai question. Guardians. Dolatai Guardians. Old Talon of the Essence Fae used to be Dolatai Guardians. Since the Fae Essence allows us to use our essence to attack, we became the hunters and protectors of the Talon. So Talon of the Essence Fae used to be Dolatai Guardians. Okay, so Talon is a, I guess, warrior. So what went wrong? When Feyran arrived in Shamazar, he began to change the minds of some of the Fey Talon. He said that the Fey were stronger and should lead the other Talon. Many of the Fey did not listen to Feyran, but a few of the less honorable ones did. Oh man, yeah, but your son, I mean, he's, uh, he's a bit um, turning over there. Why didn't you try and stop him then? Many of us began to battle with the followers of Feyran, but the way of the Talon must be one of peace, or the essence suffers. This is how it has been for countless thousands of moons. Khazar spoke against our use of force, and we followed his message, but Feyran took advantage of this, and reverted many of Khazar's followers. Okay. And now? And now? Now we are but a few left. Feyran has done his best to remove our voice from Adelpha, but we continue to fight in our own way. Many Talon want us to succeed, but most are afraid to Alright, I think I'm ready to go. So how can I get out of this joint? Have you finished Yam's tests, Urukai? And I did. No, not what? yet. I believe you will find yourself most rewarding Ulu oh return to me once oh again, i guess again, please i have to complete that uh, silly jump test all right okay so zan is always nearby i don't think that's zan but oh hello there buddy hello you have my greetings ulukai I have just returned from Okasankar, and I am glad to see you are well. Where? The region of Okasankar. Okasankar. I was there because I was the last guardian to leave Okar, the region oh, where we found okay. you. It was my duty to make sure no trail was left by us that would lead the soldiers to us. Oh, nice. So even random conversation can branch out and, uh, you know, getting more information about the place. What can you tell me about this Okar place? That region is where we found you, Ulukai. Kazar spoke of your arriving in that region, and for many moons we hid among the trees, avoiding the soldiers of Croax. We had all but given up hope that you would arrive when we saw the bright light of your arrival. Then what happened? You arrived near a group of oh. soldiers. They were about to discover you, when we attacked them and drove them mm, away. Maybe the others are captured. Mm, that's bad news. You attack? Only with sleep darts and other not violent means. We never revert other Talan. After this, you were brought here to safety. Only I remained behind to hide our tracks. That region is a very dangerous mm. one. Full of mystery it is. What kind of mystery? There are stories that the ruins of the region are the remainders of the ancients. I doubted this until I visited the region on the quest of recovering you. 
During the moons we hid out in the region, I saw what I think was a Daoka, except this one was very large. It had symbols at the top of it to a place I have never seen on symbols of other Daoka. But I will never know the answer to its secret. Mm, okay. Why is that? That Daoka was broken, if it even was a Daoka. Others with me thought it to be a monument of some kind. Most Talan do not believe in the story of the ancients, but I like to think they could have been. Very interesting. So, Oka Sankar. Tell me about this Oka Sankar. It is a region full water. of water. Mm. The city of Sayana lies around a mountain that rises high above the water there. Many say the region used to be mostly mountains countless moons ago, and that the Yogs became angry and filled it with water to drive away the ancient ones there. The ancient ones? Well, he already described the it too. about them are many, and each is different. So many moons have passed since they were supposed to have been here, that I fear no one Talan knows if they existed. What can you tell me about them? The most popular story is that there were two races in the beginning, Talan and the Ancients. The Yogs watched as both races began to live on Adelpha. When the Yogs saw the Ancients hurting Adelpha, they reacted quickly to rid Adelpha of them. Many Talan were lost in their anger, but the few that survived spoke with the Yogs and promised to never harm Adelpha again. Mm. You don't believe this story? I do not know, Ulukai. Some moons I do not. But then I think about the Daoka and other objects that no Talan knows how they arrived on Adelpha, and I wonder. Me too. Alright, thanks for that little uh, information there. Are you? No. Then I need to complete the jump test. Where are you? Only five, five uh, people in this little village. Mm, can I just take them? Uh, I think it was like their relics or something that uh, they cherish. So I really shouldn't touch them. All right, jump test. All right, so. Yo, shorty. Shorty. Oh no. Let's try this jumping test. It's taller than you. You have finished that test, Ulukai. There is no uh, need to repeat. So the game that tracks whether I already completed. I think the one that um, I already completed going up on the roof of a house. That was a test. Um, sneak info. What does this mean? Want to try that again? I guess you are still weak from your travels. Let us try it again. As oh, soon as I yeah. say three, you will need to get the fruit. I wasn't able to complete the fruit test. Ah, uh, that was a... Yeah, so he was able to spot me, but, you know, there's there's no indication that, that I failed the test. And, you know, the game, this game being from uh, 1999, um, yeah, it's like... You know, each uh, the screen resolution is not qu quite as big. I don't know how to how to um, make the screen go. Um, I don't know a bit larger so that I'll be able to see more of the screen. But yeah, um, it seems like I'm playing on a portable gaming console. Okay, just get the square, I guess. And I need to sneak around and wait for his uh, count. Alright, well, at least I get another fruit. Mysterious fruit, that is. I guess I need to. Alright, can you see me? Oh. Oh. Can you see my legs? No. Guess this guy has to walk around first. Uh, all right, all right, there, Jan. Let's try this again. Want to try that again? Oh, you're so afraid of. I guess you are still weak from your travels. Okay, well, 
The food is already there, so I need to. Uh, um. This is a hard test, just like Jenna said. Wanna try that again? I guess you were I remember. If you are having trouble, you may find this. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, another way out of this test. What is this? An EVD? Where did you get this? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai. I meant to give it to you after our tests were complete, but I think you need it now. That I need, yeah, sure. One, two, so let's check our inventory. Okay. Um, EVD. One EVD. So if I use it, what's this do? X-ray. Oh. I see. Um, yeah, I need to take this out again. EBD is F6. Okay, so understood. So I guess I can sort of um, move at the same time or and jump. Ah. Uh, Alright, did Jen see me? No. He didn't see me. So he's turning counterclockwise, or no. So just turning in, um, I think, 60 degrees or something. I need to figure out his pattern so he's looking at me. He's looking away. I can probably move. Yeah. Alright. So he's going to look on the other side where I used to be. Oh man. Okay. With me. I'll get your strange foot first. Oh. Alright, the sneaking thing is Wanna a bit uh, difficult. Maybe your travels have taken Maybe just one more try? Okay, so um It is okay, Uluka. Yeah. Many young talent failed this test. A oh, shame. Uh, but I can it will be our little secret, Ulukai. Do not worry. Learn you res a frackin' son Okay, well. Alright, what's the result like? So, did I pass? Three out of four ain't that bad? Yes, Ulukai. I had no doubt that you could pass our tests. It was my honor to help you get out of your kink. I hope now. That we will be able to learn more useful battle strategies from you. Jan is a fast learner. Get out of your kink. Well, he's learning all the. Your father wouldn't be too happy about that. Do you mean, uh, I guess, vernacular? My father does not want to see what is happening around him. He talks of the old moons of the guardians and the honor their name once held. Never does he see that few are being left alive which believe. The way he does. Don't worry, Jan. I've never failed in a mission yet. Well, I've this one. May the odds be silent during your travels, Ulukai. My father will be glad to hear that you are ready to begin. Thanks. This and many sacred objects are all around Adelpha now, Ulukai. When they were found, many believe them objects of the odds. All right, thank you, Jen. And I'm gonna talk to with uh, your father to let me out of this place. It seems like a secret mountain um, village with no way out, really. It's kind of all surrounded. Um, yeah, you can actually play this um, game with just a keyboard. I don't know. I don't imagine how you'd be able to be able to do that, but. Yeah, um, you can definitely play this uh, game with just a keyboard. 
using a mouse here. Um, oh, cool. But he's the one who's smoking. Smoking is bad for your health. Um, well, anyways, yeah, let's talk to him. I'm ready to go. So how can I get out of this joint? Then it gets smaller. Have you finished Jan's tests, Ulukai? Sure did. He says I passed with flying colors. Now I should get going. As you wish, Ulukai. But before you leave, I will remind you of our deal. You find the five mines, five okay. and we will attempt to find that what you seek. That'll have to do for now. But just know, the second I find that probe, I'm completing the mission first. Understood? It shall be as you say, Ulokai. Now the path to your first mon lies in Shamazar, the region beyond the Daokai in our camp. Once you arrive there, you will need to find Shamaz Zeb. He may be in the village to the far west of the Daoka where you appear. Okay. Sounds like a plan. In other regions as well, you will need to find the Shamaz. They are the only ones who can help you find the Mons. So, the only people I should find are them? Others will try to help Ulukai. A good talent to find is also a recreator. I think they have discovered secrets about your sacred objects. The recreators? Yes. They and all others will help you. I only hope you will find the help of the leaders as well. The leaders of what? Many of the regions produce resources for the soldiers of Feyran and Croats. Mm. I have been in contact with many of them, but all are unwilling to stop their work for Feyran. So they are like uh, slaves to Feyran, uh, the people that uh, live who live in this region. That will Basically slaving away for Cro Korea, Croax and Feyran. And um they supposed they like working for him? Urukai is going to uh, lead them um, and unite them probably against uh, the ultimate evil. No, Urukai. They simply fear his anger, or they are too dumb to understand why we want to do this. Well, I'll see what I can do about that if I have the time. I know you can win them over. You have the mark of the Ulakai on you, oh. and all will know your words carry. So that is the mark of Ulakai, the mark on their uh, t-shirt or shirt. Took me for a New York subway car. Be warned, Ulakai. Many soldiers okay. have been seen now that you are known to be alive. You will want to stay away from the Temple Fey in the center of Shamazan. Away from Temple Fey. There okay. are many soldiers there. Stay to the south end of Shamazar. Thanks for the that advice. I do. Know this. All guardians will be watching. Oh, they you. gathered around us, okay. You will find our help when you are fulfilling the prophecy of the Urukai, and you will know our anger if you do not. All Talon will know your actions and treat you in the manner you treat them. Very interesting. You just remember that I need to find the others and that probe, and we'll get along famously. Then I will activate the Daoka for you. May the Yods be silent, Ulokai. Huh, a little bit of a slowdown here. Um, I don't know why it is about this game, but... To kind of simulate it and a slowdown. Hey, everyone. Um, so can I go through this? Alright, I guess like the beacon on the minimap is like uh, indicating this Daoka, particular um, Daoka, which is a passageway to the region, I guess. Let's uh, check the map. Alright, map, map. Okay, so map. So I am, I am in Shamazar, right? Yeah. The Shamazar in the north. I don't know where there is a pine tree there, but uh, maybe that's a temple of fame. And um, need to go to west. All right. Now he's activating the Daoka, right? Oh, I just go through. Oh, not yet. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Okay, he's excellent me too. All right, now this is activated. All right, so 
There I go. Ooh. Oh, I'm in Ranzar. Oh, okay, okay, I see. So I was in Ranzar, uh, now I'm in Shinazar. How can I get out? So the Daoka. Daoka is actually in the water. Interesting. I need to get out. Um, I've accidentally entered the Daoka to go from where I started. Why have you returned? Have you found the Mons? Nope, going back, sir. Sorry about that. Couldn't get out of the water. Alright. Um, well, after this... Um, I have to figure out how to get out of there. Alright, so this has been... Oh, there's the steps. Alright, so I think I end the episode... Um, this episode, first episode of the Let's Play Outcast. Um, now, and uh, yeah, always... Um, yeah, I can finally speak after this uh, advisor of mine uh, stops speaking. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me for this uh, Let's Play of Outcast. I think this is going to be another great game. A uh, very pretty game and picturesque game, that is. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Uh, please stay tuned. Sephiroth? Sephiroth? Kinda sounds like uh, Final Fantasy VII's uh, one-winged angel, no?